Hey there, YouTube. This is Richard Ross from AccessLearningZone.com again. I just wanted to drop you a quick note and let you know that I released another new seminar. This one is on forming relationships between your tables in Microsoft Access. To learn more about this seminar, watch this short video. I'll explain everything that it covers. And at the end, I'll have a special link for you where you can get a discount. Introducing the Microsoft Access Relationship Seminar, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this seminar, you'll learn just about everything there is to know about relationships in Microsoft Access. Setting up proper relationships between your tables is absolutely critical to building a successful database. Bad table design and bad relationships between those tables is disastrous and will cause you nothing but trouble down the line. This seminar covers just about all the different possible relationship scenarios that you will ever come across while using Access. We will build eight different database projects so that you can see how to set up good relationships between your tables. You can download the sample databases from my website and use them as templates for your projects. Or you can build them yourself by following along with me in the videos. We'll begin by examining a database that has no relationships and just has a bunch of data thrown into one table. You'll learn how not to build a database. Next, we'll build a database to track students and parents. This is a one-to-many relationship where one student can have many parents. We'll also keep track of which parents will receive mail for each student. We will learn about one-to-one -one relationships. These are handy if you have a lot of data but you only have some information on most of your records. For example, if you have a student database but only have names for most of your students, you need to be able to track additional information, such as address, phone number, and so on. However, you only have that information for a small group of students. A one-to-one -one relationship saves a lot of space in your database in this instance. Plus, you can also put sensitive information in a separate table, such as financial data, and secure that table separately. Next, we'll build a database with a many-to-many -many relationship. These are quite popular, but difficult to implement because they involve a third table. You need a junction table to link to other tables in a many-to-many -many relationship. For example, we'll learn how to track vendors and the products they sell However, each product may also be offered by multiple vendors. This is the basis for a many-to-many -many relationship. Next, we'll create a self-join table. This is where a table relates to itself. We'll create an employee form that allows us to choose a supervisor for each employee. However, the supervisor is really just an employee, so the table relates to itself. Next, we'll create another self-joining table. We'll track people and their relatives again, but this time we'll set up a many-to-many -many relationship so that each person can relate to each other person in the same person table. This allows you to set up complete family trees, and this is great for genealogy databases. Next, we'll set up something that I like to call a reverse relationship. We'll specify two people, and tell the database that one of them is, for example, the other person's uncle, the database will then figure out that the reverse relationship is niece or nephew. Now, this is one of the more advanced lessons in the seminar. I'll use a little bit of VBA programming and some SQL, but don't worry, I'll show you everything you need to know to get the database working. All you have to do is follow along with me step by step. Finally, We'll make a database to track organizations and members. Now, an organization can be a family, a company, a charity, a church, or anything else you want it to be. That's your organization. Then we'll track members of that organization in a many-to-many -many relationship. These can be family members, employees, donors for the charity, and so on. With a many-to-many -many relationship, each charity can have multiple donors, and each donor can donate to multiple charities. That's the benefit of a many-to-many -many relationship. We'll also place multiple subforms on the main form for the organization, so we can have multiple addresses and a contact manager with multiple contacts. 
Then we'll do the same thing for the members, so each member can have multiple addresses and multiple contacts. That's great for tracking billing and shipping addresses, for example. So as you can see, we covered just about everything there is to know about relationships in Microsoft Access. From the very basic to the advanced, you will definitely know how to properly set up your tables and relationships after watching this seminar. So visit my website at accesslearningzone.com if you have any questions, or of course, feel free to contact me directly. Okay, YouTubers, as promised, here's a special link you can go to and get 50% off this seminar. It's 599cd.com slash XYT84. Just follow that link, type it in your browser. I'll also put it in the comments because you can click on it. You'll get 50% off this particular seminar and any of my other seminars or courses. And you can watch my Level 1 Access course absolutely free of charge. So just follow that link, and I hope to see you soon.